Hey there, welcome back to Simple Happy Zen. In this video, I will share with you my basic secret for how to save money with minimalism. Time for a short disclaimer, because finances can be a sensitive subject, and that is because it's very different for everyone. So saving money may be easier for some people who have a higher income, I get that. So please take from this video what you can use and leave the rest. Minimalism has helped me to spend way less money over the years, and if you're interested, I can make a video about all the areas in which I now spend a lot less. So if you'd like me to make that money savings tips video, then let me know in the comments below. But overall, there is a basic secret to saving money that minimalism allows us to see and utilize. And that is what I want to talk about today, so you can do that too. That basic secret is that minimalist living makes us a conscious consumer. And let me explain what I mean by that, because it's not as easy as it may sound. We all know the following formula when it comes to saving money. We need to spend less than we are making. And if we do that, we automatically end up saving. And even though we all know this, it's not always easy in practice, because there are many factors involved that are influencing this balance, making us spend way more than we want to or even realize. The first factor is something that I like to call noise. We are bombarded with noise all day long and we're not even that aware of it sometimes. There are ads everywhere that tell us that we are not good enough as we are right now, but we will be if we buy this product. And it's not just ads, it's also the messages that we send to each other and through social media. We see all this stuff that other people have and keeping up with the Joneses has become something digital. It makes us want to keep up and avoid FOMO. Another major factor that influences our finance is lifestyle creep. Remember when we talked about earlier about spending less money than you're making? Well, sometimes the amount of money we make can rise. And lifestyle creep means that when it does, we inflate our lifestyle with it. We make all kinds of upgrades to our lives. We may even start to live in a bigger house or start shopping at more expensive stores or go out to eat more frequently. And it's fun, it's easy, we tell ourselves that we deserve this luxury because we're working so hard and we deserve this reward. But what happens when we start to make more money, but we spend the same? Well, that means that a year, 10 years, 20 years from now, we start to live more comfortably because our lifestyle gets easier and easier to maintain. We don't have to work so hard just to afford our basic lifestyle, and we will have years and years of money saved up. Even if you don't make that much, every small amount of money that you save now will add up to something bigger in the future. So back to that basic secret, becoming a conscious consumer, what does that mean? Well, it means first ignoring all that noise around us that tells us that we need to spend more money on stuff we don't need. And if you want to know how to do that, then watch this video here where I talk about how to stop buying things you don't need. You can check it out after this one. Secondly, it means avoiding that lifestyle creep that we talked about earlier and if at all possible, trying to live below our means. And lastly, and most importantly, it means thinking through every single purchase that we make. And this may sound annoying or like a lot of work, but with practice, this will become second nature to you. For example, I always keep a short overview of my euros in and euros out through the month so that I know exactly how much I still have left, how much I can save and how much I can spend. Another example is keeping a wish list and avoiding impulse buys. If I want something or need something, I will add it to my wish list. And after a certain time has passed, if I still want it then, and if I did my research, I can go and purchase it then. There are many ways we can practice becoming a conscious consumer. So let me know which ones you like to do in the comment section. How does living a minimalist lifestyle help you to spend less money? But basically, it all comes down to one principle, not letting anyone else tell you how to spend your money, shutting out all the noise, the people, the ads, the FOMO. And even though we live in a society where we face a lot of pressure to do the exact opposite, minimalism can help us to create positive habits that will help us to save money in the end. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel for weekly videos. I'd love to see you in my next one. Have a great day. Bye bye.